So what do you think of this? It's an earbud with a boom mic sticking out of it. Check it before you wreck it. What's up, geeks? I'm Kirk. What do you think about this thing? I feel like a 90s pop singer or like someone who works in a call center with this boom mic hanging off the side of my face. Kind of nerdy, but if you need better sound quality on phone calls, maybe you use those earbuds for work on a constant basis and you want people to hear you better, this might just be a great option. This is from JLab, so we're gonna take it to the table and see what comes inside the box. Here we go. These are the work buds from JLab. Let me take a closer look at the front of the box here. Uh, JLab logo on the top. Clear calls with detachable boom mic. So that's the concept here. They're earbuds that have a boom mic, kind of like a, a phone operator, to give you better call quality, a better microphone, right? Because the microphone's jammed up here with a little hole it's gonna be better if it's actually placed out here. Obviously, it looks a little clunky compared to normal earbuds, but this is for people who need better call quality. On the bottom here, WorkBuds True Wireless Earbuds with Boom Mic, Noise Canceling Mic, Bluetooth Multipoint, 55 plus hours of playtime. That's of course likely including the charging case combined with the batteries inside the actual earbuds. On the side here, you can see Bluetooth Multipoint technology, which lets you connect the, um, the headphones to two devices simultaneously, which is always nice. Not much on the other side there, just some fine print on the bottom. On the back here is kind of nice how the box shows you everything that's included inside uh, the box itself. It also talks about some of the highlights Talks about the 56 plus hours of total playtime, noise canceling, USB-C charging, uh, connect to uh, multiple devices with Bluetooth multipoint. Again, they're really drilling down on the multipoint technology there. And customize your sound with the JLab app. So the JLab has this app where you can customize the sound. It works with all their earbuds, all their headsets, obviously this one included. And then it shows you all the stuff that's on the inside, the headphones, the case, the different uh, earpieces and the different tips. Why don't we just find out for ourselves by cutting open the box and seeing exactly what's inside. First, we need a cutting tool. And we've got some scissors here. So you'll see on the back of the box here towards the bottom, it points out a little cutting area. I'm not sure why I can't just rip that off, but I'm gonna follow their directions here. See if I can cut this with my trusty little pair of golden scissors. See if that works. There we go. That was easy enough. That pretty much worked. We'll open up the box from the bottom. Let's see what this unboxing experience is all about. There we go. The top slides off as opposed to the box itself opening up, which is sort of what I was, I was expecting the box to open up, but it slid off, which is kind of cool. And then you've got a little flap here. And there you go. It brings you inside to a pretty decent unboxing experience here with the JLab charging case presented there for us. We'll set that down, see what else is inside the box. We've got uh, what looks like some instruction manuals there that come out of the flap in the top. And it looks like we've got some stuff over here. Let's yank this out. That's it for the box itself. There's not much else going on there. The blue box, it's got that hanger says your kind of tech hashtag your kind of tech on the top there jlab logo on the front and then let's see what's inside this little box that we found in there looks to be some cables to me oh geez okay we got all the tips and stuff in here i'm gonna be try to be careful about pulling these out but i do want to show you what we have inside here looks like i opened it the wrong way i'm gonna put those tips back in the side here and open it the way they want us to open it which looks like this There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. So first of all, oh, there's the boom mic. That's what that is. Very cool. So you can see the little microphone on the tip there. Let's see if we can't get a focus. That's the microphone tip of the boom mic. Then the other side looks like, oh, it's kind of a, is that like a custom plug? That's not a standard. I expected a standard eighth inch plug, but it's not. Looks like some sort of custom plug. So we'll play with that in just a second. Show you exactly what that looks like. What else is in here? So we've got a charging cable. We've got a couple of things here. Woo, man, there's so many little pieces in here. USB-C charging cable, uh, very basic, very standard charging cable there. And then we've got, so these are tips that you're used to on earbuds and these are some sort of additional fitting piece. 
that goes on the earbud and they're they're soft rubber they're basically like formed rubber bands but we'll look closer at the earbuds here and see exactly how those will work the instruction manuals here um, nothing to write home about basic instruction manual showing you kind of how to set this all up. Let's see if we can't see, oh, interesting. Okay, so you can pick a side. You can put the boom mic on either side. That's kind of cool. And then see, there's the uh, the cush fin is what they call it. And then the ear tip. So you've got two pieces that go in there. Kind of interesting, additional comfort, especially since this thing is going to be bearing the weight of a microphone, has to kind of fit better than a traditional earbud even. Let's set that aside and then see what we got in here. This is going to be the charging case. And that sort of just pops off. That's not connected at all. It just sort of pops off. And then you've got the earbuds inside here. There you go. Looks like uh, a little piece of tape there covering the uh, contact points. We'll set that down. We've got the other earbud here as well. Let's pop that out. There we go. Almost dropped that. There's your contact points for charging. So it was not charging in packing and shipping. And I'm guessing maybe this is a spot to put this, right? So this probably, yeah, this fits right in the here so that you can put this in the case as well. Obviously, you're going to want to have that in the case too. There we go. Took me a second, but this is how it fits here. You can see it's a very specific fit. It only fits one way. There's a little kind of cut out there. So you could put it the other way, but it's got to be where this thing, maybe this goes here. And then that kind of goes down like that. See that? Yeah, that's how that fits in there. Okay, anyways, so this is the charging case and uh, we've got USB-C port on the bottom there. Your earbuds fit in there with those charging contact points on the inside. You put your microphone in there. It's a pretty big charging case, bigger than what we're used to, uh, which is good. Maybe they can get more battery in there with that, but it also gives you a spot for that microphone, which is important. Now, let's check out the earbuds themselves. So first and foremost, the earbuds are identical all the way down to the little plug-in hole there for the boom mic. You can see the charging points. You do have a right and a left, so technically they're not identical. One is designated as right, one is designated as left. But in terms of the build, they're exactly the same. So I'm going to set one down while we look here at uh, a specific earbud because I want to show you how this thing works. This is that little plug-in and you can see it's this really weird little proprietary kind of plug unless this is a standard that I don't know about which is entirely possible but I've never seen that plug before and it just plugs right into there pushes in nice and tight has kind of a rubber gasket there too so it gets a nice cush firm fit there and uh, it, it almost makes it so you can't twist it very easily, which is nice because if you're wearing this thing, you don't want the microphone moving around on you. And then there you go. You've got this boom mic attached to this earbud that you can then adjust the boom mic, how it fits you best, how it picks up audio best. And the testing will really show if this does a good job or a better job. It should, theoretically, it seems like it would. But you know, when you compare it to, uh, to AirPods, for example, how is it going to sound much better than an AirPod or a nice set of uh, Google Buds or something like that? So we'll have to test it out and see. But for now, I wanted to show you all the stuff. And this is all the stuff here that comes inside the box itself. So when you want to charge these up, this being the right one, I think. There we go. That one goes in there. I think that was maybe the left bud. And then that one goes in there. And then you would put this here and wrap it around there. And then this lid just fits on top like so. And there you go. Look at those. Kind of interesting earbuds. Kind of an interesting concept, I think. And you'll have to play around with these things, see which ones give you the best fit. I usually find that out of the box, the earbuds fit me fine, but I know a lot of people are very specific about the tips that they use on their earbuds. And with these additional fitted pieces that go around the edge, that might help as well. There's your look at the unboxing of the JLab WorkBuds True Wireless Earbuds with Boom Mic. Again, from the company J Labs. If you're interested in these things, I do have a link to the J Lab work buds over on Amazon right down there in the description. Of course, we appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. A lot of cool tech coming here on Tech It Before You Wreck It. I'm Kirk.